Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to another Halo Reach action figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Halo Reach Invasion 2-pack from Series 6. Now this 2-pack comes with a Elite General and a Spartan Grenadier. Now, the Invasion 2-pack, well, the Invasion game type, if you've never played it, is where both teams will be split into where one team will be the humans and one team will be the elites. Um, sometimes, depending on the game type, you can actually play as the humans, as the Spartans, and then like once you get done with that particular part of the match, it'll switch over and then you'll be an elite. So it's kind of cool how you can kind of switch and the game types can end up being a little bit longer, which can be fun, um, depending on how your team is. But in this situation, uh, this two-pack comes with two of the data cores, or cores, and you've got a human version and then you've also got a covenant. Now the Covenant one here I think is really cool looking. Um, the only downside to it, I mean the sculpting and the paint job is really cool looking. It just works to me. It just it just works. The only downside I see to it is that there isn't really any visible way to be able to hold it for the figures. Um, which, you know, when you're playing standard invasion, the point uh, is for the humans to try to steal the core from the Covenant. Now with the human core here, it does have the two grips on top for somebody to be able to hold it, whether elite or human. Um, and the paint job of this is really nice. The only downside I think to it is that it's hollow, but I, you know, I just, I don't know. When I get a hollow piece that's this big, it just, it feels, yeah, I'm kind of worried that it could break at some point too, you know. But as far as I can tell, it's pretty sturdy. It's not really wiggling or anything like that. But the paint job and the sculpting is really good. Uh, I mean, just to be able to paint something like this would, you know, would take. A, a reasonable amount of time compared to if they could have just done it with a really basic paint job and just said, ha, be happy with it. So that is cool. Alright, so that's the two data cores. Now with the two figures here, I have to say that uh, I'm not really impressed. And let me explain first. Okay, first off, the Grenadier Spartan here. I knew that as soon as I, like, I don't know what it was, I started getting out the weapons and I pulled out the, the grenade launcher that he comes with here first. And the first thing I noticed was that the paint job on this is not Halo Reach standard. Um, what I mean by that is back in Halo 3 the weapons were painted very basic because in Halo 3 the weapons were colored very basic in the game. But when they went up to the Halo Reach line, they really stepped up the paint jobs on all the weapons. They just looked amazing. Now this one here, I mean, it's still got the UNSC logo. It's got a you know, couple different parts of it that are black, but it's overall just silver. Um, it's just not really that impressive. But of course, that's just a weapon, not a big deal. Okay, all right, I got gotcha. you. But then the Spartan figure here, um, his leg is a little loose. It likes to wobble. And I just opened this. When I open a figure and it's already got signs of like excessive use, which, you know, what would be like if you had this thing for several years or you gave it to, or you played with it a lot or something like that, this is the type of stuff I would expect after like a long stop motion or something. This He's already like this. That's not really that cool to me. Um, I don't know what's been going on as far... I mean, you know, the thing is, is that I've been really fortunate with my Halo Reach figures that I haven't gotten, like, any that were bad. And I've been able to, like, give McFarlane, like, you know, extra points for that every single time. Um, I know some people have said that they still pulled out Reach figures and they still had problems with them, and I guess this seems to have happened to me. So now I'm going to have to do something to be able to fix the leg, you know, and which isn't a big deal because I can kind of figure out how to do that but if you know the average customer bought one of these they would have no idea what to do to fix it they'd either return it or just already count it as being broken and you know that just makes it harder to pose them you know if you're a display person or if you're giving them to your kids to play with you know that could be a downside I know that as a kid I probably wouldn't have cared too much but I knew that even back then if the figure already looks like this then that's not a real good sign other than that the paint job is kind of um extra silvery <laughs> I was just looking here at the knee pad the amount of battle wear on this guy is a little much to me um, I don't mean to make this like a big review of complaining because like I said I really do like the data cores um, and the elite general is just a cool sculpt but I do want to point out when there are downsides that you guys are aware of those things um, you know he's a red spartan there's a lot of those other a lot of them out there um, he's not the best figure that I've gotten out of McFarlane's Halo Reach line. Now with the Elite General here, the biggest complaint that I have is that it was bent when I got it out, which happens sometimes to figures and that's not too hard to fix. Um, the feet are still rounded, but as you can see I did figure out, oh, I did get him to stand. Other than that, the biggest complaint that I have is the plasma repeater. 
Um, and this is a plasma repeater, not a plasma rifle. They do make some figures uh, with reach that did have plasma rifles. Not very many, but they are out there. But this here is a plasma repeater. This is the first plasma repeater I've gotten out of the reach line. Um, and I'm sadly not very impressed by it. Uh, McFarland has done an outstanding job with like designing the rocket launcher, the sniper, the Spartan laser, you know, the assault rifle even, just taking very basic weapons or even the, the power weapons of the game and really just making them look amazing. And this one here just looks so skinny in comparison to those others. And like here, right here in the, the center where this thing would spin as you're firing, um, it, it just really doesn't look that great. And the paint job on it really isn't that great either. And I don't know if quality control has started slipping or if, again, I just happened to get a set that just had some badly painted stuff, but... This isn't up to par with some of the other really cool weapons that are in the set. But it is cool still to have my first plasma repeater. Now with the Elite General here, looking at his paint job, I'd say that his paint job is pretty cool. And it's definitely unique. I haven't seen a, an Elite ever colored like this. So this is a cool paint job. Do a little bit of a roundabout. Take a look. Take a look. Got butt bags, but no grenades. I'm actually kind of surprised there are no grenades in this pack. Um, other than that, flip them around. Uh, the other thing I noticed was that when I took his helmet off, when I took his helmet off, there we go. He is the darkest colored elite I have ever seen. Generally, the elites um, like suit, like in between the armor pieces, is like they have a different suit underneath, and that suit is a different color than their hands. But this guy seems like he got the same color all the way around, which isn't a bad thing. And I actually kind of like it because um, it's kind of weird when like they keep making UNSC troopers and they're all white, even though in the game you've got. All different shades of people in there including females but when they make the figures they're all white men so you know it, it's just not necessarily representation of the game itself or of the actual military but then you know getting an elite that looks a little bit different is kind of different you know uh, it was unexpected but you know i have no problem with it i just wanted to point that out to you guys that i don't know again if uh, that has to do with they made an active decision to change the face colors of the elites i don't think they would have done that but maybe they did or it was more of, well, we just got a bunch of this dark colored paint, just use it, you know. I don't necessarily know. Overall, the data cores, I think they're cool. Are they worth picking up to buy this whole pack just for those? No. Um, is this set really cool because it comes with an Elite General? Yes, but it's, eh, you know. Overall, I'm going to give this set like a 3.5 out of 5. I'd like to say it's a 5 out of 5, pick it up if you find it, but it's not that great with the quality control issues that I've had the um, kind of cheap looking paint jobs that they've done on the weapons you know it kind of has downsides to it that don't necessarily qualify it to be worth as much as it is so anyway that's my review that's my personal opinion you guys you know there's always people out there who really like something even when I say you know it's not that great or there's other things that where I think it's awesome other people think it's not that cool so just my one opinion Take it for what you will. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those down below. Thank you very much for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking, favoriting, telling your friends, and all kinds of other things that you do. I really do appreciate it. And if you don't do anything but watch this, I still appreciate it. <laughs> I do. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you all later. And uh, again, thank you very much. All right, see ya.